Hey everybody, Ryan here, and welcome to the Quest Log, your source for Dragon Quest news, tidbits, and more. And now I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the Dragon Quest 35th anniversary stream. Oh boy, do I got quite a bit to say, and I'm just going to say this. This kind of feels like a big roller coaster for me, because there's... Yeah, I'm going to just say, there's things I liked, there's things I'm excited for. But there's also a lot of things that I didn't like. So let's begin with the first 30 minutes that were Japanese only. There were mostly just updates, you know, to the mobile games, the merchandise. And yes, I definitely called that there was going to be a lot of merchandise, you know, which my poor hard-earned money is going to be spent on. Yes, I'm going to be spending some money on this. So yeah, they got my wallet. And sadly, we did not get a release date for Dragon Quest Die Infinity Strash. You know, they showed some of it. It looks a lot better than it did last year. But still, no release date. So, um, I'm still going to be hoping in the future for some news on this. And now, let's get to the nitty gritty. The games that they announced in the next half in the quote-unquote English part. So, yeah. Where do I begin? So the Dragon Quest Eraser game for mobile. It looks cute. I think I'll play it for like an hour and that's going to be it. That's all I'm going to say about it. It looks cute. And then the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. Well, I was kind of hoping that they would remake this game in Unreal Engine, but that would probably take too much money and a lot of time. And so Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake is using the Octopath Traveler engine and graphics, and it looks pretty cool. I am very excited for it and I am definitely going to probably use this version for the Dragon Quest 3 review whenever I get to it. <laughs> and so uh, we did not get a preview for Dragon Quest 10 version 5.5 the second half but we did get a little teaser for Dragon Quest 10 version 6. So yes it is confirmed they are continuing Dragon Quest 10. Yeah they're probably going to bring it past their 10 year timeline that they initially announced. So yeah I'm excited for Dragon Quest 10 version 6 but sadly we did not get a release date confirmation for 5.5 part 2. They said over the summer so hopefully that will be either in June or July because I really really would like for this to be done so I can start working and finishing my Dragon Quest 10 version 5 review. And yes I will be doing a Dragon Quest 10 version 6 review. And I'm probably doomed to do Dragon Quest 10 reviews until the end of time. So hey, if you want to do some voiceover for my Dragon Quest 10 version 24 review in the next couple of years, hey, you're more than welcome to addition. And then we got Dragon Quest 10 Offline. And this is one I have really mixed opinions on because it's not really the full experience of Dragon Quest 10 and yes I know that Square Enix was planning an offline version because that's probably the only way they're going to bring it to the west but they decided to change the entire style of the game to more of a chibi format and I don't know what to think about this I mean it looks cute and I will admit yes I will get the game I will play through it I will review it here on the channel and I'm pretty sure that this is the version that we're going to get localized I mean I'm not too happy about that I would rather have the main Dragon Quest 10 localized because that version I think is one of the best Dragon Quest games ever and if they do localize Dragon Quest 10 offline which I'm pretty sure they will I don't know if they're going to do the expansions like version 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 but maybe they'll do it you know I'm not sure but it just it just doesn't feel like uh, I just don't know man I just really don't know We'll see what happens, and yeah, they did not confirm that it would be localized. And also, when they were displaying all the Dragon Quest X stuff, they had this, there are no plans for a worldwide release. I mean, that was a big slap in the face to a lot of us. We're watching an English-interpreted stream with subtitles. Like... Why do that if you're not going to bring it out in English? I mean, I think the rest of these games are coming out in English, but this fe really feels like a slap in the face to us. So now let's talk about Dragon Quest Treasures, the Eric and Mia game that was originally supposed to be a Monsters game, and I'm glad it's not in development hell anymore. It's actually in development heaven, and it's been called something completely different, and it looks really cute, and I'm really excited to play this game. I'm going to get both versions, Japanese and English, and we'll review them on the channel. So yeah, it's out of development hell, people. And now for the big one. Oh boy. Uh, this one's been getting a lot of mixed reviews on social media. Dragon Quest 12: The Flames of Fate. And wow, that logo looks very, very, very edgy. 
So we're finally getting a dark Dragon Quest game. I mean, Dragon Quest games have a lot of dark moments, but this looks like it's going to be a completely edgy Dragon Quest game, and I'm not sure what to think about that because Dragon Quest has always been known for its lighthearted, cute Akira Toriyama art style, but... I'm very, very mixed on this. I mean, this is way too early to judge, and I'm probably gonna make a completely separate video based on this Dragon Quest XII logo, but yeah, we have it. Dragon Quest XII, the flames of fate. So edgy, man, oh boy. So what did I think overall of the Dragon Quest 35th anniversary stream? I'm kind of mixed on it. I am excited for Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake, you know, or maybe just call it Dragon Quest 3 re 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 remake. I'm definitely excited for Dragon Quest 10 version 6. Not so excited so much for Dragon Quest 10 offline, but if this is the only way people are going to experience the story, then I just kind of have to accept it. And I'm still disappointed we did not get a confirmation or a release date for Dragon Quest 10 version 5.5. We're definitely going to get that later, but I'd like to know it now so I can at least plan my version 5 review. And Dragon Quest Treasures I'm definitely excited for. Uh, Dragon Quest Eraser game, I'll play it for a little while. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the entire Dragon Quest 35th anniversary. I feel like it's 50-50. I'm gonna give it a personal rating of, you know, 50 out of 100, to be honest. I was excited for half the stuff, not really excited for the other half. So yeah, so that ends my thoughts on this quest log. Make sure to leave your comments on the Dragon Quest 35th anniversary down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at that Ryan Molina and take care. And I'm going to be doing some more speculation quest log videos in the next upcoming weeks.